Hi, Warriors. Welcome to Kian Plays. Sammy Red Love Bad Party. Yasu Tokugawa Story. Let's continue on, Warriors. Don't tell me. Was Lord Yasu crow to you again? Oh no, nothing like that. Sorry. Actually, he was more talkative than usual and barely even sarcastic. Oh, that is a rare sight. Would you mind telling me what he told you? Sure, he was reading all these books when I came in. So I told him that he was amazing to be reading them all late into the night. But he just acted like he does it all the time. I see. He said that he had to do it so that he wouldn't end up like Imagawa. I had intended only to share the parts of our conversation that weren't upsetting. But it doesn't seem that I did that well. Is something wrong? Oh no, I'm sorry. It has just been quite some time since I have heard Iyasu speak that name. You mean Imagawa? Lord Iyasu lived much of his formative years as a hotch hostage of the Imagawa clan. He was a hostage? I am sure that he still carries much pain within him from the days he was kept there. He was only a little boy. It seems difficult enough for Lord Tadasugu to talk about. His eyes missed over with the memory Pain and regret making his future. Even I think of how things might be different from time to time. If only he would have been left free to come into his own as Lord of the Matsudara clan instead of being taken to that horrible place. Did Imagawa really treat him that badly? I cannot say, but I also cannot believe that he was treated as well as he should have been. However, you cannot change the past. That is why I want to give him the rest of my life in loyal service. Because I cannot take back whatever happened to him. The depths of his loyalty go straight to my heart. Fierce and piercing. I wonder if Lord Iyasu knows. I wonder if he has any idea that someone like Lord Tadasugu is standing with him until the end. Lord Iyasu is not a stupid man. He has to at least know that much, doesn't he? <laughs> Forgive me. I have said too much. Not at all. Thank you for telling me. My heart aches for Lord Yasu, but I would be lying if I didn't say that it frustrates me that just how blind he can be to others sometimes. And if you hear talking in the background, that's my mom, so don't mind it. Several days later, Lord Iyasu is standing at the forefront of Lord Nimanaga's war effort, having taken care of the remaining Asakara loyalty. Lord Iyasu, please keep. Oh, yeah. Lord Iyasu, please enjoy today's soup. It has mochi. Without a word, he takes the bowl and chopsticks and begin to eat. Does it please you, my lord? Take the rest of the soup and feed the monkey in his dog. Huh? 
But Lord Yasu, doesn't Lord Hideyoshi have his own cook? That's not your concern. Just do it. Make yourself useful and get us in their good graces. Thanks a lot. We really owe you one. Yeah, over half of our rations spoiled. Can you believe that? I thought I was going to die. I mean, we fed everyone else first. So damn, this is the best. And you praises me between serious bites? Ah, so this is what he meant by get us their good graces, huh? I'm glad to help. I'll be bringing over more of the leftovers later, okay? Sure, tell Yasu thanks from us. The Tobar army is really something, aren't they? They're completely unstoppable. You're right. I'm sure there's a lot we can learn from him sometimes. I mean, ourselves. Tokugawa is still no match for the Tiger of Kai. I love you. I love you. I love you! Mitsunari will cut it out. The Tiger of Kai, is he really that strong? Takara Shingen, yeah, they say he's the strongest of all samurai. And it's not just Shingen, he's got that Sadara Yukimori too. I'd like to take him on once in my life to see how tough he really is. In you, stop with the braces, y'all. Would ya? Keon. Huh? What? What does he want? Turamatsu. What's the matter? For a split second, I worried that something might have happened to Lord Yasu, but that can't be. Also, how do it? How do Hideyoshi and Mitsunari know that I'm I'm, I'm a girl? I don't know. Our messengers tell us that Takeda forces are marching on to me as we speak. We are to return to Hasamasa Castle immediately. What? What? Hamamatsu Castle is a tense, strange sense of urgency following me whenever I go. To lay siege to to, to me while there is no one to face him, Takara, you lily, liver bastard. Lord Iyasu, we have received word that Takara forces are moving quickly. Futamata Castle has already fallen. But no, no word has come from Lord Nobunaga about reinforcements. I am afraid. What does he think he's doing? It was our army that gave him victory over Azai, and he refuses to assist us now? Lord Nobunaga is in a final stage of subduing what is left of the Asukura. He cannot afford to send his troops somewhere else. No. But still. Shut it, Tadakatsu. Do you think Tokugawa will fall to Shingen without the fool's toys? I would never think such a thing. However, there are rules that must be followed, debts be to be paid. No one ever wants to make good on their debts. Trust them to do it is folly. 
Then Moriyasu, what do you propose we do? I gather that with the fall of Futimata, he will try to take us here at Hamamatsu before long. You are all to prepare for the stage. We will not let Takada have his easy victory. The youthful calm in his voice has not changed at all. But lurking behind it is a terrifying desire for vengeance and blood. As you wish, my lord, our lives are yours. Come on, men. Let us bring down this Takada Shingen in once and for all. So we're off to war again. Or rather, this time the war is going to be coming to us. Three days after the fall of Futumata Castle, Lord Iyasu and his retainers still lie in wait at Hamamatsu for the arrival of Takada Shingen forces. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here right now. Stay awesome. Take care. Until next time, Keon plays Samurai Love Ballad Party. Bye.